I can't even start this without like feeling like such a liar. Okay, I didn't want you guys to see my nipples, so I put a bra on, but here's the movie magic. I didn't clasp it, so just know that this is what you're getting moving forward. <laughs> Anywho, welcome to my channel. Uh, most people call me Chelsea, some people call me Lady Hagrid. I will go by either. It is entirely up to you. Today I, well not today, today is Tuesday and on Sunday I went to Mod Cloth. We have a brick and mortar Mod Cloth in Austin and I tell you what, it is still as magical as when I went almost two years ago. They have all the clothes on the floor. That's my room, not Mod Cloth. They have and sample of every article of clothing hung up, spread around the store, which is beautiful. Behold, wow. And then you just take a little clipboard, which I also did and I'll insert here, wow. And you write down the product number and your size and then they bring it all to you. I don't have to do the thing where I hoist like all these clothes all over my arm and then show up to the dressing room and they say you can take 10 articles of clothing and I go, but I need to try all 20 for my try on. They go 10 and that's it. And then I take the 10 and I bring back 10 and it's a whole, anyways, block cloth doesn't make you do that. So I love them. The ladies there were so sweet. There were some things where I had to size up because they didn't have my size, but I'll mention that in the video. But before I ramble like I always do, let's just jump on in. This first one is cute. It's like a fake knitted dress. It's an adorable fit and flair, ideal for the holidays, be it office or family. It is modest while still being bodacious. I felt really stinking cute in this, but I said that about everything. What can I say other than feeling cute? Adorable, precious, darling. It fit really nicely. This baby's in a 1X. I love that it's fake knitted because a knitted dress would be way too hot for me. Cause I'm, I swear to God, I'm already sweating, but I also have like lights and everything. Um, if you want to keep up with how weird I am, you can always check out my Instagram, Quickie Curves, hey. This dress is cute. It's a perfect length. It's a gorgeous red. It would look great with heels, booties, you name it. I was feeling myself. You can tell from this video. It hides the belly while also still saying, hey, I've got a belly and I think it's cute because it is. I just think it was the right amount of flowy, the right amount of tight. I love the neckline and this power suit rocked my socks. I tried one on at Lane Bryant like two years ago and this one, I think it might outdo the last one. I was feeling Tyra Banksy, Oprah-y, almost Kardashian in the way that I could take over the world just in my suit. The length was beautiful. I'm six foot, 5'11 on a bad day. And you can clearly see that this baby is long. So ladies, if you're a little bit shorter, higher heels, go nuts. It was modest, but also the crisscross was allowing me to just show my ladies the, the tie at the waist. I mean, come on. If I'm going to a dinner party, I don't need to bring food because I'm looking like a whole snack and a feast. This thing is beautiful. I've, I seldom have things that fit so well, I'm tempted to just throw the $100 at them, but this baby, I just felt so cute. I just, I never feel that confident in pants, okay? Dresses, I'm like, boom, I'm a knockout. Like a skirt, I'm like, mwah, what a bombshell. But sometimes pants, I'm just like, oh, jeans. I look like uh, jeans. That pantsuit, yes, very yes. Now this red dress, I tell you what, I'm, I'm gonna be vile. This dress had me feeling like Santa was gonna come up all up in there and get them cookies. Cause this dress is so Christmas, so Mrs. Madam Mistress Claus. The poofy skirt, the cinching at the waist to show off the yummy nummy cookies. And then the neckline, they could have done a U-neck. They could have done a, a high uh, tight neck, but no, this swoop de doop -de, beautiful, modest V. And even the, sh even the shoulders on this thing, I've never got, oh man, the shoulders on that dress is really nice. But it's just, it's elegance, it's poise, and it's all up in them cookies. That's all I have to say about that. It's cute, I would buy it. I didn't buy it because 
I don't like buying things for one particular reason, but it's just precious. It, it was poofy on poofy on poofy on poofy, and everyone loves a good poof. So, poof on, ooh! Okay, this dress, I needed to size up because clearly in the bust area, we're struggling. But this is adorable. I've never seen anything like this. So I love mod cloth for always having a different design that I have never seen. I love the collar. I've discovered I love collars now. Previously hated them, but my big neck fits in them. I'm the girl that can barely wear any necklaces. Every necklace ever is a choker for me. The belt is beautiful. Did it have pockets? I don't think so. Didn't need them because I am a pocket full of sunshine in this dress. I I hate myself right now, but the sleeves the pleating and just poofing of the sleeves the sleeves are the perfect Length the dress is the perfect length. I could wear this to work. I could wear this somewhere cute I could go on a date in this Christmas any holiday you can imagine It is subtle, but you will stand out and everyone will notice you and that is what I love about this I love standing out and blending in and that's exactly what this dress would do You can always tell when I feel myself because I go way too long with the mirror, but I just think this is beautiful and so outside my comfort zone, outside the norm, and a unique piece. Good God, what do we have here? This dress is in a 2XL. Everything I had tried so far was in a 1X and those fit fine. This 2XL, no, 2XL and 2X are not the same thing. 2XL and 1X, apparently not the same thing. But you can already see that this dress is gorgeous. From the sleeves to the, the detailing in the lace, the, the see-through, but the, the pockets, the pockets look so bad. Um, they didn't have the neck size up for me, but you can clearly tell this dress is a banger if they had it in my size, but I could barely get it closed, could barely get it on. It was skin tight, but the detail on this is beautiful. That face less so. Oof. Yeah, the pockets were all the way up here. I couldn't get in them, but that dress is adorable. Now, who just let the cat out of the bag with this dress? This dress is covered in cats. I have two cats. That's one of them. His name's Little Man. He's great. The cats are going skiing on this dress. Remember when I said Mod Cloth has really unique stuff? Skiing. This is like hot topic for women who aren't 17. Although I still go to Hot Topic because I need Funko Pops because I have a problem. This is so cute. I tried this on because I thought where I tried this on because I was assuming the second I put it on, I would know exactly where it belonged and what event. Can't think of one <laughs> because I'm not that eccentric. I would love to wear this with combat boots. Don't have combat boots, not eccentric. Very eccentric personality, clothing wise. Humble pie, shy as something that's shy. I don't know, I don't know. I can't even come up with a comparison, but. I couldn't think of anywhere to wear the dress. Though I loved it, I couldn't walk into work like that and be like, hello, fellow office people. I'm wearing a cat dress and the cats are skiing. Take it all in. No, I would get so much shade. Everyone on my team, aside from my best friend, is like in their mid to late 30s. And not to say people in their mid to late 30s into their 60s aren't a blast, but not the ones in my office. No they wouldn't be super sweet about it. But moving on to what I was really hopeful for and got decidedly let down in. I really wanted these pants to work, but I think I needed them to be skinny pants. That was not a fart. Oh my God. <laughs> I really wanted these to be skinny pants. First of all, they're a 1X and I couldn't zip them in the back, so I needed to size up. I could not zip them if my life depended on it, which meant I was not going to be sitting or bending over if I were to ever wear these bad boys. The detailing with the buttons and the strap on the side was super cute. I love the color, <laughs> me trying to bend over. And just this shirt, the shirt is a 10. 
the shirt is a 10 it's the perfect color length fit it is beautiful i i just wanted it with like maybe like a black skirt instead maybe even like half untucked look very uh french parisian bonjour but the pants not for me uh, but I, if they were stretchy like skinny jeans or skinny plaids that's not a thing Clearly I could still dance in them, so they were fine. But they didn't fit, so which is a major bummer. But this is again, is out of my comfort zone. <laughs> oh no. I'm speechless, because this is my favorite dress. I now own this dress. I am going to wear it to work. I already know which night of Christmas I'm gonna wear it at my mommy's. It's just so cute. Yes, it's a little sheer. It's a little sheer but it fits like it was made for me. I don't know why I feel like sexy teacher. I don't know why it always has to go there, but it does. I feel like Wednesday Adam's hot and sassy sister Thursday because everyone's so thirsty Thursday for me. Not really, but in my mind they are. I just think this dress is stunning. The material was thin and breathable because I sweat like something that sweats a lot. A hippo, I don't know. What else is sweaty? Me, a sweaty like me. I love this. The neckline is so much more, the, the, the collar. I didn't think I liked things with collars, but then I look at this and I go, put a collar on anything. Hell, put a leash on me. I don't know. I don't know where I was going at that, but this dress, I saw it on the rack and I thought, that'll be cute. And then I put it on and I go, oh no, that is, that's beautiful. I feel simultaneously beautiful, cute, pretty, sophisticated. I wanna wear this with customers coming into town. I have a lot of customers who visit and I feel like this would just be such a different thing to wear for a customer visit. Usually I'll wear like an all black dress or I'll wear nice dress pants and a shirt. And this I feel like adds a little bit of whimsy and sass to an otherwise boring customer visit. I'm sorry customers, please don't find this channel. These jeans, she told me, hey, I noticed you got a bigger size, you got an 18. <laughs> if you want to size down, they stretch. Oh my God, I couldn't close them. <laughs> These had no stretch. Maybe they stretch in the future, all denim does. These are not they. I could not close them. I couldn't sit, fart, giggle. I, they, they couldn't close them. That's me showing you they're an 18. But I had a whole idea of having those jeans with the next amazing sweater that I'm about to try on. And I could not close those to save my life. I think I might've needed like a 22 in those to get into them. There was no stretch. <laughs> I thought I'd throw that in there because I can't just show you all the scenes where I look like completely perfect in everything I try. We gotta keep it real. 18, size up in their denim. I could not get in. Now, I hate bell sleeves, hate them. Everything I have fits this way, until this sweater. If you follow me on Instagram, Quirky Curves, you'll have seen that I wore this yesterday and I was posing like this with it and I was feeling myself. Look at it! It's just an oversized sweater. Who cares? Oversized black sweater. We all got them. But the hairy sleeves, I look like Neapolitan ice cream. Even though it's brown, <laughs> you can have a black version. I even thought, hey, look how cute this would be tucked in. Imagine, imagine in your mind's eye that those are jeans and not <laughs> oversized leggings from Old Navy. But everything about this is cute. It would look cute, completely tucked in, untucked, a French tuck. I had to do it, tuck it any way you want. I don't even know, tuck it in your socks. What a cute sweater. I love it. Please go get it as well, even though I think it was out of stock online because they let me leave with it in store. Ah, super cute. So that's the end of the try on. Um, I can't get enough of this sweater. Oh my god. Oh my god. Like, this sweater is everything. It's so cute. Like,. I know you've already seen it, but like, how do you live without this? I hate balloon sleeves too. I hate balloon sleeves. No, I don't. I love balloon sleeves now. 
And I don't care who knows it. I love balloon sleeves. I love you guys so much. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I'm getting my hair done next weekend because this hair dye is from two years ago. And uh, my name is Chelsea. And I love balloon sleeves. And I love you guys. Catch you in my next video.